I get a lot of people direct messaging me on Instagram asking if they have hunter eyes and I have been into some awkward situations where guys have hooded but not hunter eyes. They believe they do have hunter eyes and they end up telling me I am a liar or jealous for not telling them or agreeing with them that they have hunter eyes. True story, so this video will clear out the misconceptions about the differences between hooded eyes, hooded hunter eyes and almond hunter eye like shape. Yes, there is three categories of them which will split this video into three main parts. Part 1 will be about what are hooded eyes, part 2 will be about the differences between hooded and hunter eyes, and part 3 will be about what are hunter like almond eyes. If you want to support the channel and get your face evaluated by me with personalized look max and advice, link will be down in the description. If you want to read more about topics like these, you can check out my blog at neurofacerating.com. Without further ado, let's get this video started. So like most of your other facial features, the shape of your eyes is determined mainly by your genetics, surrounding bone structure and underlying tissue, fat and muscles. First of all, it starts with what gives this shape its name, a hooded eye shape. The part above your eyes is called upper eyelid exposure, just like the example presented on screen. When it comes to hooded eyes, they have excessive skin that falls below the bra bone. They can even reach the lash line. Hooded eyes are completely normal and common hereditary trait. So, if you have basically no upper eyelid exposure, then that's how you know your eyes are hooded. Some hooded eyes may also happen with age. Asian eyelids can change the appearance and shape of your eyes, making them look droopy. Hooded eyes can also have three of the known cantal tilts. A positive one, where the lateral cantus sits higher than the medial cantus. If you drew a line through them, you would notice that it's tilted positively. They can also have a neutral cantal tilt, which means the medial and lateral cantus sits parallel to each other and a negative one where the lateral cantus sits below the medial cantus. The upper line of the hooding in hooded eyes can also be neutral or negative. The medial cantus in hooded eyes can be downturns or not. Also hooded eyes in some cases can have scleral show which basically means the white part of the eyes shown under the iris. And finally hooded eyes can be deeper set into the skull or not. I believe guys with hooded eyes can achieve hunter eyes if they have some flaws. I will discuss this at the end of the video. Now let's move on to the next part. So now let's talk about the tight criteria that makes hunter eyes. First the hooding of the eyes need to be straight. I meant in a neutral line and not in a negative one. The eye size need to be compact and not large. Plus there need to be no sclera show or white under the eyes. The lower eyelids need to be nice and tight hugging the iris. Next the medial cantus need to be downturned. And for the cantal tilt it needs to be positive. They also need to be deeper set into the skull, not protruded or bugged out. And the brow ridge needs to be at least decent in protrusion. And finally, the general eye symmetry needs to be decent. So if you tick all these boxes, congratulations, you have the rare hunter eye shape. If you are missing in one of these areas, you are most likely disqualified unless it's something very minor. Like not having a downturn medial cantus, but again, it depends. There is another grade of almond eyes that look aggressive and hunter-like. Not hunter eyes, but hunter-like. They have minimal amounts of upper eyelid exposure, their eyes are compact in size, deeper set with a positive cantal tilt in a downturned medial cantus. They have no scleral show, just the lower eyelids are tight, hugging the iris. They are deeper set into the skull, so in simple man's terms, like hunter eyes but without the hooding. These eyes for men are also sought after and are highly attractive, but not as rare as hunter eyes. This is why pure hunter eyes are more sought after. So you can get hunter eyes if you have hooded eyes. Well, if the hooding is straight, and let's say you have scleral show, then you can get hyaluronic acid to tighten the lower eyelids. If they have a negative cantal tilt, it can be fixed with cantoplasty surgery, giving them a positive cantal tilt. And if one of the eyes are severely asymmetrical, cosmetic surgery can be performed on just that eye to bring it to par with the other one. I hope this cleared up some misconceptions when it comes to the differences between true hooded hunter eyes and just hooded eyes plus almond-like hunter eyes. But what do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. A like and subscribe will be highly appreciated. And like usual, catch you guys in the next one.